Police are on high alert today after a little girl says she was approached by a stranger behind a school. Now investigators are getting the word out to parents, making sure they are aware of the situation. WLKY's Tim Elliott is live from Hyde Elementary in Middletown. He has details. Tim. Well, Vicki, Height Elementary School Principal Tim Hagen sent out this letter yesterday to parents and guardians of students here describing the little girl's encounter with that stranger that took place yesterday morning. Now, in that letter, Principal Hagen says the little girl was on her way to her grandmother's house before school when she was approached by that stranger. The stranger crawl, uh, called out to her, asking her to come with him. The little girl refused and then continued on to her grandmother's house. Now, the grandmother is the one who called police. Police showed up. They did some searching in the area. They could not find the subject, but the little girl describes, describes that subject as six foot tall, African American, and wearing a gray uh, t shirt and blue jeans. Now, police say no crime has been committed just yet, but they're not sure if this man is dangerous and they're not sure what his intentions are. At this point, uh, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, we want to make sure that people are very aware. Obviously, we're concerned what's going on. Uh, we don't want to cause alarm in any way, but we just want to make people uh, cautious of when they enter the door. And, and if they see something suspicious, make sure they call us right away. Now, actually, this isn't the only incident similar to this one that took place in this neighborhood. Police say within a week, there have been three similar incidents. In one incident, uh, the subject matching the description that the little girl gave police was uh, posing as an LG&E contractor. In another incident, the same description, the same subject was posing as a salesman. So police say they don't want neighbors, they don't want people to worry in this neighborhood, but they do want them to be cautious. Reporting live from Height Elementary School, Tim Elliott. WLKY News.